There is a man in Arizona who spent 35 years in prison for a double murder, even though someone else has confessed to the crime. And he was unanimously recommended for clemency, but the governor has refused to release him. Why? Dan Harris set out to learn the answer. I wanted to know who I am. We're with Ron Kempfert, a son on a mission to confront the governor of Arizona. We'll find her. Kempfert's father, Bill McCumber, was convicted in the 1970s of killing two young adults in the Arizona desert. But last year, in a rare move, the Arizona Clemency Board unanimously recommended that McCumber have his sentence commuted, saying an injustice had been done and pointing out that another man, Ernesto Valenzuela, had confessed to the crime. What we've been told all these years is wrong. Then, however, the case went to the governor of Arizona, Republican Jan Brewer. You may know her from her support for Arizona's controversial immigration legislation. Governor Brewer denied the request from the clemency board whose members she appointed, citing public safety concerns, even though McCumber is now in his mid-70s and in failing health. Ron Kempfert says he believes the governor fears looking soft on crime in the middle of a re-election campaign. Kempfert told us he'd been trying to reach the governor, so we took him to her office. I've written her three times. I haven't gotten a response yet. But we were turned away. Unfortunately, she's in back-to-back -back meetings all day. Governor, my name is Dan Harris. I'm from ABC News. Uh, so then we showed up unannounced at a press conference. You won't answer anybody's questions as to why. I've sent your off in two emails and a letter. No response. We've all been asking why. Well, you know, it's an unfortunate situation that governors have to make uh, difficult decisions, regardless of what recommendations are made to them. I appreciate your concerns, but I have made my decision, and it's final. All righty, guys. But this is your today. executive clemency board, Governor. This is your Thank board. You all very much. Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you follow the recommendation of your own board, Governor? At first, no response. I had to ask twice. Do you have no second thoughts, given that it's your board that recommended this? I commented on it. Is there a political motive here on your part? Absolutely Desire not. not to look soft on crime, per se? Absolutely not. How you doing? I am unbelievably angry. Lawyers for Ron's father are exploring other options for securing his release, but the options are limited, and given the poor state of Bill McCumber's health, time may be limited, too. Dan Harris, ABC News, Phoenix, Arizona.